Good morning rookies! My name is Toy and welcome back to my channel. So today's episode will be a little bit different. Instead of me showing some workout routines and instructional videos, I'll be sharing with you my transformation journey. How I managed to lose weight from 198 pounds to 148 pounds. And I'll be sharing some tips as well on how you can achieve that. So my number one tip to everyone who would like to start their fitness journey whether it be you want to lose weight or you want to gain weight is you have to start you have to start now okay um, the athletes that we are idolizing you know the big names in the fitness industry they had to start somewhere okay and you have to find your big why your reason why you are starting and why you're doing this Okay? Some people, they wanted to be healthy, they wanted to be fit again, they wanted to, to wear the clothes that they used to wear. Some for self-confidence issues. Whatever it is, whatever your reason is, is you have to start. Because hindi ka makakarating dun sa end goal mo without you starting. So I just wanted to give you some backstory. When I was in high school and college, I wasn't really fat. And after graduation, after college graduation, that's when I gained weight. I started working in a call center and I was overwhelmed uh, with the lifestyle. So every after shift, you know, we dine out, uh, grab some food and grab some drink. And, you know, that lifestyle has been going on for like a couple of years. And little did I know, I was gaining weight, you know. The clothes that I used to wear didn't start to fit me anymore and every time I walk like for a short distance I feel like tired and the ko mapagod then when I go to when I climb like the overpass mabilis akong hinihingan and that's when you know that's when I felt na oi this is something different and uh, one time you know I was absent I wasn't able to come to work I was feeling sick and you know I went to the doctor and I was diagnosed with mild hypertension so I was you know I at my age I felt like wow is this real is this even happening so that was the turning point of my life that's when I started my fitness journey and I realized that if I don't start that day then I might die soon and that's when I realized how important it is to take good care of ourselves to take good care of our health so my second tip is to invest in your health okay um, if you have a doctor go talk to your doctor and check your medical condition maybe they have restrictions para sayo okay then you can start dieting okay remember abs are, are, are made in the kitchen okay uh, if you want to lose weight or if you want to gain weight, you know, you have to have a good diet. It's all about, you know, dieting. 80% diet, then coupled with exercise. Exercise is just 20%. So when I started my fitness journey, I also decided to start eating healthy. So what do I mean by it? I increase my calorie intake. You know, I cut back eating carbs like rice, pasta, bread. I started on eating more protein, you know, and I also cut back on eating sweets like chocolates, drinking soda, soft drinks, you know, drinking alcohol. And that's when I also decided to start a gym membership. So I went to the gym like three to four times every week and I made sure that I had enough sleep. So to make sure that I meet my daily calorie intake, I started preparing my own meal as well. It's a low carb, high protein diet. Mostly consists of chicken breast, broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, and whatever it is available. You know, just check around you, check the market, and be creative. It depends on you on what will work and what will not. You know, but for me right now, 
whatever fit me, uh, fits my macros, you know. I can do flexible dieting. It depends on what I crave for. But I made sure that I reached that calorie level that I need. So the third tip that I'm going to give, which I think is important as well, is you have to be patient, okay? You have to understand that this entire fitness journey is a long process. You know, it's not easy to achieve. Whether you want to gain weight or to lose weight, it will take months and years, you know? If you have a goal, you know, you see those bodybuilders, you see those fitness gurus and athletes, you know? Before they achieve that body, it will take them like five years. It took them five years, 10 years, okay? So you have to understand that anything that you want great, it will start from the bottom. It will be a long process and it's difficult but achievable and you have to give yourself like a goal a short-term goal and a long-term okay what do you want it what do you want to achieve in the long run is what happens is people start engaging in this fitness journey like new year's resolution that they wanted to lose weight but then after a few weeks and after a few months they stop and that's the problem okay you have to have that short-term and long-term goals and you have to you have to be consistent and the fourth and last tip that I'm going to give is to track your progress. You know, it's very nice to see that you have progress on something. You know, because it makes you continue. You know, find your motivation. And for me, it motivates me when I see progress, when I look myself in the mirror. So here are my photos few years back. I weighed 198 pounds here or 90 kilograms. But now, I weighed 148 pounds or 67 kilograms. So that's it for today, rookies. I hope you learned something today and I hope I encouraged and inspired someone somehow based on my story. See you on the next episode. Goodbye.